Let's close out of Design Modeler and double click on Model and that brings up ANSYS Mechanical. And if I go to if I go to geometry and expand it, I see there are four parts coming in. Let's look at the model along y. So z, you know, increasing z is um, is in this direction. And if I zoom in here using the right mouse button and let me manipulate the model. So mid nozzle is highlighted, lower nozzle, bolt, and nut. So we have four parts coming in. Let's perform, you know, let's uh, mesh the model. First, I will put in some sizings. So I'll say mesh control sizing. I'll select the body selection filter and select the two nozzle bodies. Okay, two bodies. And for element size, I will say 0.3 inches. Make sure your units are set to inches. And if I go here, so let me zoom in here, I can see what is, you know, how much the bullseye shows me what is that 0.3 look like. This is a fairly coarse mesh. Um, it's for an initial um, solution, and then we will do a mesh refinement study. And let's put in a smaller sizing on the bolt and nut. So I'll say mesh control sizing on the bolt and nut. And the element size is going to be 0.075 inches. And if I go here, the bullseye shows me what that size looks like. It's quite a bit smaller. And then I'll say update. Look at the mesh. You get a tetrahedral mesh, the default tetrahedral mesh. If I look at statistics, I have about 48,000 nodes, which is over the student version limit. 